Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Emerald Order of the Christic Line of the Blue Star of Venus. On this 23rd of September, we rise to a new level of cosmic awareness and bring more of our divine union and abundance codes for all of humanity. In these new activations, we become the seventh race of the galactic guardians of the new earth. With truth as our swords and love as our shields, we arise and transform in this great resurrection and ascension fully into 5D and beyond. The blue elk king of the free spirit realm, of the pure land, of Buddha, Amitabha, of infinite light, is with us now in assisting us in healing every aspect of our infinite multidimensional awareness of pure light. As our Katika, the central channel, is running free and clear to activate our rainbow bridge of heaven and earth, we flow into the dual stream of our Christic conscious Merkaba electromagnetic field of the inner and outer house of our soul star. The mists of the new Avalon part and allow us access to the higher realms of Shambhala. The path has been cleared and is now direct to source home. The domain of Mother Heart Ark of the Grail Cup of the Holy Spirit. Our First Nations people are rising up all over this realm in the declaration of sovereignty for all sentient beings. All thugs and goons are being brought into repentance for this coming golden age of enlightenment for all living beings. The Gnosis flows freely for all to tap into and mentally consume the knowledge of the Akash, of the life streams of all timelines. The scales have been set in divine order and the dial has been turned and tuned into the frequency of heaven on earth. All is coming into balance and harmony shall reign supreme upon this glorious earth. Aho! With these powerful energies coming in over the last 24 hours, we had many more earth changes and activations, more flooding, South America, northern Colombia, thousands affected from the floods, more flooding in India, Pachamama, cleansing, purging, releasing, the waters are rising, the waters flowing, the holy water. We had 119 M1.5 or greater earthquakes in the last 24 hours. The most powerful activation on the Ring of Fire, Sinaloa on the west coast of Mexico with a 5.6 activation. Earlier today, Bonin Islands, Japan 4.1, Puerto Rico 3.7, 37 into 73, heaven on earth. The east coast of the North Island of New Zealand 4.1, Mentone, Texas 4.3, South of Fiji Island 4.6, very deep, 546, 46, 46, 10, 10, portal, Puerto Rico, another 3.7, Chile, South America, 4.5, Council of Nine coming in, Nicaragua, Central America, home of our Mayan elders, another 4.6, activation, 10, 10, 10, Papua New Guinea, 4.6, 256 kilometers depth, in the root chakra of Pachamama again today, the Coiled Serpent, the Rainbow Serpent Rising, South Sandwich Islands, 4.9, 13 of the Divine Goddess. Then the most powerful, Sinaloa, Mexico, 5.6 and a 5.2, Papua New Guinea, another 4.9, Nicaragua, 4.2, 4.8, Unalaska, Alaska, in the Crown of Lemuria, 4.3, Loving New Mexico, 3.0, Kermadec Islands, New Zealand, 4.7, Tonga, 4.9, and then Chiapas, Mexico, 4.9, another 13 activation of the Divine Feminine coming in. Again, the Ring of Fire, totally lit up again, totally fired up. We are lighting the grids, we are rising. As Gaia rises, we rise with her. Now let us continue with the Sabian symbols right now. The moon is at 5 degrees, 43 minutes Taurus. The sun is at 1 degree, 10 minutes Libra. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 2 degrees Libra. The light of the sixth race transmuted to the seventh. 
and the current Sabian symbol for the moon at six degrees Taurus, a bridge being built across a gorge from astrologyweekly.com. And now my sacred condor pulls a card for you today from the tarot deck, Dreams of Gaia, from Raven Phelan. And the card she pulled for you today, one, ace of water, the keywords new emotions, first love, infatuation, attraction, lust, longing, excitement, passion. Key phrases, an exciting beginning, take a leap of faith, open your heart, follow passion's lead. A new experience or opportunity, a new friendship, stop fighting your feelings, free of fear's influence. The meaning, the ace of water, symbolizes the beginning of a new love and those feelings of nervous excitement we experience at the start of a new relationship. It is that growing sense of attraction and infatuation that draws you in and dares you to throw common sense aside. Falling in love is both paradoxically thrilling and terrifying as a flood of emotions picks you up and carries you away. The river could carry you gently, or lead you to rapids, or worse, fling you over a waterfall. Regardless of where this new beginning may lead, now is time to open your heart to another, or to a new experience or opportunity. Remember that the Ace of Water does not necessarily symbolize a romantic relationship. You are being asked to allow your desire, passion, or attraction to carry you along in its flow and trust that it will take you to where you need to be. Now today from Divine Sister of the Light, Ramona Lappin. The one true organic ascension timeline is fully online now, and we are overstepping the net. Monumental shift in the field since the equinox, a great equalizer. The scales of balance have been restored and anchored, and we have tipped over to the positive spectrum of the collective polarity integration and unification process. Many forerunners are now anchoring full divine union templates in the Holy Trinity, Tri-Wave, New Earth Grid architecture through their own embodiment. This is now fully activated, anchored, locked, and sealed, along with our core encryption and new divine blueprints, now online and available to all whom it may concern. More balance, harmony, and peace are available. We are, have, overstepped the net, and things are finally starting to feel like home, a new sense of homeostasis. What's unfolding is truly beyond words and in the most gentle, beautiful, magical, and unassuming of ways. Let's keep remembering and seeing through the illusions. Keep breaking through the imaginary walls of this holographic matrix as the collective awakens from a long, deep slumber, as we are starting to remember the truth, as it arises from deep within us all now. Do not even look out there within the Maya for the physical signs of this monumental shift unfolding. Instead, look within and feel the shift arising from deep within you. We are it. Seek within your own inner knowing, inner seeing, inner hearing, feeling, and sensing. That which shall leave you without any doubt of what is truly unfolding beyond the veils and mirages of the old illusions now dissolving in front of everyone's very own eyes, eternal love, Ramona. And from Divine Brothor of the Light, Jason Estes, update, welcome to the next act of the movie. This is when we realign to truth and it's going to be powerful and fast. Enjoy watching truth come in from every angle in our lives and world. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Sandra Walter. Blessings, beloveds. Sending extra love light support to all the Stargate and Grid Keepers who went on high alert in the last 48 hours. I feel us all, especially the teams up in the middle of the night, assisting this grand amplification of higher light frequencies. Follow the guidance and inner direction for where you need to be and what your part is in the distribution of realm-shifting light. Crystalline stargate of the heart open in divine neutrality. This shifts your reality in profound ways. Use that equanimity energy that flows from the equinox gateway in amplified ways for another week. Everything you do affects the whole, affects higher outcomes. Engage in new earth now. Responsible creation, self-correct moment to moment. To assist the collective consciousness in leveling up now. Stargate flows September 22nd through the 29th. In love, light, and service from SandraWalter.com. 
and from divine sister of the light divine feminine seventy seven seventy seven we are in the libra season already it started yesterday on the day of the equinox and a change in the energy will be is already felt virgo was all about perfection thinking about the details and speaking the harsh truth whereas libra is diplomatic wants balance harmony and justice in all kinds of relationships libra is the seventh sign of the zodiac the cardinal air sign that brings a breath of fresh air into our lives relaxation instead of tension balance instead of chaos or pressure to be perfect working together in balance and harmony kind of an energy that will affect all our relationships to change and blossom it feels like the results success of the seeds of new ways of relating that we planted and we're working on throughout the year by creating the new relationship blueprint will be more and more visible in the physical ways of relating elevated to a new level bringing more balance and harmony into our everyday life a success for all and from divine sister of the light judith kusel when there is stillness and inner peace there is nothing to push or strive for nor to proclaim nor to convince no need to fight one is resting in the infinite and eternal now where all unfolds perfectly as it should it is from the eternal infinite now that the new you the new earth is sprouting forth it is in inner stillness and peace inner harmony and oneness that one is co-creating the new golden age born renewed the old you exists no more every moment now becomes a birth a manifestation of new life in much higher and advanced ways as has been never before i am welcoming each living moment in my new embodiment and new earth in the here and now all is provided all is present all is unfolding all is love from judith com, from divine sister of the light karen lithica global contact the arcturians amongst the unfolding of your reality we ask you to hold steady way shores a light pioneer you are in the global humanitarian upgrade for the star seed and enlightened heart beings are the true light leaders it will continue to unfold as the rapid expansion phase is now to reach us align your multi-dimensional light force to reach the galactic light families cosmic light alliance is the true pathway for humanity unity plus galactic unity is a powerful light alliance see us feel us as we are collectively united integrating the light evolution of your timeline sending waves of cosmic love the arcturians and karen from karenlithica.com and from divine sister of the light grace solaris the veils are thinning as the light frequencies are rising with the speed of light to those that are extremely attuned and aligned you get increasingly telepathic which allows you to pick up frequencies voices images from both sides of the veils both from higher dimensional realms dream time as well as lower astral realms thus it is increasingly and cannot be highlighted enough vital to be cautious and very discerning on what you pick up and what you engage with this thinning of the veil is of course used by both the light as well as the dark forces and yes dark forces may dress up in sheep's clothing hiding its true intentions but no need to fear the light in you is able to identify true from untrue and your heart is capable of picking up on the true intentions of others yes you may hear voices and see fractals images visions some beautiful vibrant radiant of the new earth reality but also dark subliminal manipulative energies of the lower astral realms emitted by the dark forces so it is highly recommended and paramount to keep your auric field clean during sleep when you leave your body you are open and vulnerable and can pick up a lot of lower frequencies that you may or may not be conscious about when you wake up this can influence your thoughts your emotions and general state of being using the violet flame smudging or any other cleansing methods is vital to maintaining a high frequency and if you are a lot amongst people during the day do the same cleansing when you come home it is extremely important to stay aligned and attuned to your higher self and keep emotionally balanced and aligned particularly this last year there is a lot of electromagnetic instability 
as the gradual pole shifting is picking up momentum and are shaking the tectonic plates. Eruptions and earthquakes are both a deep cleansing of the massive amount of build-up frustration, anger, and pain of the collective, but also part of the natural pole shift that is happening gradually. To maintain your alignment and balance, ask your higher self to adjust you to the Earth's poles on a daily basis, and you will instantly feel like a clicking into place, and a sense of overall balance and feeling attuned and aligned is setting in. So as stated above, it is vital that you keep your temple clean. Be mindful what you give your energy to and engage with. If you doubt, there is probably a good reason. Trust your gut, take a deep breath, and ask your heart if this energy or this message or person honors your highest good. Even lightworkers are increasingly getting somewhat infiltrated by lower entities if they are not diligently mindful and keeping their vessel clean and high vibrating. Your heart knows and feels what is compatible with your inner truth. Listen and trust. Be mindful and discerning. Personally, I am being kept from absorbing too much new information. I am guided again and again to be empty and not get indulged in too much theoretical spiritual noise, of which there is a lot right now. More and more what counts is presence, and this, in my opinion, is the most powerful way you can serve. It needs no words, no explanation. No analysis, which bottom line is mostly coming from the linear mindset. Ego wants to know things and have things explained, and cut into bits and pieces. However, spiritual truths are often amputated when put into words. In other words, the wholeness and holiness is fragmented into pieces, and the purity and essence is lost. Now we have reached a level of telepathy that allows us to communicate in different ways, in more advanced ways. It is called the universal language of the heart through pure energy exchange, from heart to heart, soul to soul. This is the new way of the new earth, multiple dimensional beings of light that we are becoming. Words start to become obsolete. I notice when I write, especially when writing with my beloved, sometimes in a sentence every second or third word is missing, but we can still read each other. I often hear words when I am reading messages. I hear them in the voice of those writing it like I can hear their thoughts. It is simply me picking up on the telepathic transmission, because no matter whether you are aware of it or not, you always transmit telepathically what you intend to say or write. It happens automatically. It is the natural way we communicate and exchange as souls. That is why you can pick up the true intention behind the words and know if there is discord between words said or written and the telepathic message. The telepathic transmission holds not only the wording, but images, feelings, etc., so you get the whole multi-sensual, multi-dimensional picture. So be mindful what you put out there and what you engage in and how you engage. If you feel off or anxious or even depressive, you most probably need to cleanse your energy field and recenter and ground yourself. While grounding, ask your higher self to adjust you to the Earth's poles. Deep breathing exercises and spending time in nature is also wonderful ways to cleanse and release negative built-up energies. And yes, being in a state of gratitude is a powerful frequency enhancer. Stay light, stay joyful, even if those around you project guilt and shame on you for being high vibrating and joyful. That is none of your business. Stay true to yourself and keep shining. Own your joy. From GraceElohim.com and from Divine Sister of the Light, Maureen Moss. Enlightenment Equinox. Last night, an aquamarine ray, the color of the higher heart chakra, showed up in my bedroom. One of my favorite colors. It brings forth memories for me of the time when I was in Lemuria. I was wondering why this ray showed up now. I grabbed my journal, wrote the question down, and words flowed. I had written some of this at another time, though much was added. It came from my higher self, though perhaps higher than that. Through this ray, we establish connection to the Mother God, the Mother of God, frequency, a quality of the feminine magnetic force known as the Mother Arc, and the original parent frequency carrying acceleration codes of light from the ninth dimensional Merkabic structure awaiting connection and activation in those prepared to access another octave, another wave, Another dimensional layer of knowledge and love, committed to being responsible and devotional for each. 
It is through alignment with the mother circuit of perfection that creation can heal itself forward into its original divine blueprint as its seed codes begin transmission by reminding one that this ray was a familiar ray in the time of your history that many of you were a part of, a time when you achieved enlightenment over 12,000 years ago on the beloved continent of Lemuria, a time when you knew yourself to be sacred and lived in your light bodies as beings of light on earth. Overnight Lemuria was submerged under water along with many of its inhabitants. Everything was lost, all material possessions were gone, loved ones separated, animals, minerals, elementals, nature, along with all the beauty. All the aspects of daily living on this magnificent continent vanished in one fell swoop without warning. All that was left was self, seeking the meaning and the purpose of life while in the void of nothing. There was no time for pity or stories. There was no time to be angry or truly feel the pain, though the agony was beyond words. The traumas of betrayal and abandonment that existed remained to be healed by each in succeeding lifetimes. That was the beginning of fulfilling the purpose for returning to earth over and over again to seek once again one spiritual, sacred, sovereign mastery and body and purify themselves from all former lifetimes. In Lemuria, every being was left only to themselves and with God to begin again with nothing but God as source and supply for all things. During that time, the high priests and priestesses of Lemuria prophesied that many of us would gather again during a time on earth of great change. It was spoken that those living on the earth at such a time would be given every opportunity to make a full recovery and make their ascension while in a state of utter chaos, illusion, and fights for their freedom. The opportunity would offer those that came the most highest amount of consciousness and love that would once again return them to the one heart of God, with feet planted firmly on the holy ground of a new earth. We live in the midst of their prophecy. You chose to come back to earth now. Whether you lived in Lemuria or elsewhere, to purify yourself from your long and arduous journey, to come back to your sacred sovereign self, bringing love, joy, compassion, and peace to self and all others, and behold Gaia with great love and reverence for all kingdoms on earth. You will never have to go through darkness and separation again if you will only dig a little more deeply for your own love, release what is not in alignment with your true heart, and remove the attachments, the roots of which have dug into your solar plexus that cannot travel to new earth with you. Remember, you already are an enlightened, sovereign master, a multidimensional sovereign being with unfathomable wisdom, power, and love dwelling in the center of your heart and coursing through your soul, the carrier of perfect love. Heading into this equinox will be helpful for many. It will help to be gathered or be balanced, equalized love and supported by the Divine Mother, and to be in stillness in the womb of the Mother, surrounded by new active life patterns pulsing into you, preparing you for a new rebirth onto new earth or where your soul has chosen. The time has come to not only prepare for the heightened unfolding days ahead, but reacquaint yourself with your master presence. From MaureenMoss.com And from Divine Sister of the Light Carolyn, 144 God Code Direction may have been confusing up until now feeling like you had no clear path forward. This is because study was needed, especially in an analytical way, to understand karmic lessons. The full moon energies have supported your completion of these valuable lessons. The mirroring stage and karmic DNA are ending, and a new life cycle is beginning. The future is prepared and pulling you telepathically to your destiny. God's destined plan is to restore your birthrights and sovereign authority as a child of God. The divine feminine lioness within is being summoned by spirit. The inner healing work is completing. Now to the solstice we are being called to play a bigger role and take action over dominant forces and relationships in our lives. The goddess is to rise now and she is fully protected to do so. We are beginning a new phase and operating system in this three-month divine feminine growth cycle. 
then Venus will begin her retrograde December 18th to January 28th, fully supporting equal feminine mastery and leadership with the divine masculine Christ. The masculine is completing his rebirth as a sovereign awakened warrior of the Most High, who fights for love and peace. He is overcoming the cycles of being guarded and self-absorbed due to limitations that created unworthiness. A new cycle begins where he is grounded, connected, and supported by Mother Earth. This is the protection the masculine needs to fully rise and shine without the ego. Purification of childhood wounds are completing. Continue supporting and guiding the masculine to take courageous action steps and help the feminine overcome abandonment triggers that cause overgiving, fears of being left, and not trusting people. Rebirth of the unified divine masculine feminine Christ within and without is here. The portal is open and the light is shining bright for us to walk through and begin a new relationship back home as one. The new evolved relationship between the masculine and feminine is sacred, healthy, loving, and mutually reciprocated. In Jesus Christos name, Amen. From Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Leah Whitehorse, Lu Astrology. Venus and Scorpio opposite Uranus retrograde in Taurus. Instability creates a rebellious atmosphere. The urge to do something wild may be in the air. Social niceties could fall by the wayside as we are drawn to experiment with the new and untried. In relationships, partners need space, even if it feels unfamiliar and uncomfortable. Perhaps the greatest challenge is that other people and life itself can be unpredictable. Not having control taps into insecurities and challenges our values. Positively, this is a radical awakening at heart level. Be willing to dive deep into your shadows to discover hidden resources. You are never alone when you are with yourself. At less extreme levels, the heart is stirred by innovative ideas that encourage us to try a different approach. Step out of your comfort zone to discover new perspectives and ignite creative inspiration. If you've been holding back for fear of what others may think, liberate yourself. From LeahWhitehorse.com And from 13 Moon Peacetime Today's galactic signature is Kin 23, Blue, Planetary Night, Lahun, Akbal. After, man after mobilization of the solar tone of intention comes the perfection of the planetary tone of manifestation. Blue, Planetary Night, Lahun, Akbal guides and teaches us to focus on entering our house of night, our place of dreams, through communing with our intention in order to achieve and maintain perfect manifestation of our essential being. The manifestation process requires both effort and surrender. Perfection is something that we can and indeed even should strive wholeheartedly to achieve. We would be wise to participate and give all that we have without becoming over-perfectionist, which is actually counterproductive. Blue Planetary Night, Lahun Akbal, encourages us to go within our place of inner darkness, our sanctuary of self, which is a place of sacred mystery, to achieve and maintain perfect manifestation. Blue Planetary Night, Lahun Akbal, also reminds us to awaken to the endless natural abundance that is always surrounding us. It is equally essential that we accept the inherent perfection of all that is manifest, as it is, with unwavering trust and faith in divine orchestration. The cauldron of creation invites us to acknowledge that we are all in a process of awakening, yet at the same time we are already perfect just as we are. Through seeing ourselves through compassionate eyes, let us gain insight and understanding from each other as we walk the sacred path of existence, journeying together as one. Let us evoke each other's highest potential, learning as we endeavor together with gratitude for all that appears in our dream of this existence in La Quetch. Moon 3, electric moon within the electric seed year. Every thought we think has an electrical charge that registers in the higher mind or noosphere. At every moment we have the opportunity to choose a positively charged thought or a negatively charged thought. Our actions and thoughts are building the database of the future. 
The higher reality is always pressed down upon us, working on us in a myriad of unseen ways and through all the hidden aspects of our consciousness. As new objects enter our solar system and UFO sightings are increasing daily, many of us are experiencing a great quickening of spirit as we collectively open toward a heightened state of galactic consciousness. At the same time, the 1260 force has never been greater. The mind of this current 3D world is a conglomerate of mega forces in conflict with spirit, truth, and with each other. It is the final stage of fear, chaos, and confusion brought on by the unconscious sensation of an impending, unprecedented world transformation. This means we must be vigilant in our thoughts and actions not to fall under its spell. We fall under its spell any time we forget the magic of the great dream and thus forget our cosmic essence. Now is the time to draw upon all our superhero powers to maintain the highest vibration through these coming shifts. Our third dimensional phenomenal experience is a symbolic reflection of events occurring in the astral or subliminal world beyond the higher plane of mind and consciousness. Through concentrated awareness and meditation, we can enter this world and see that a whole other reality is occurring simultaneously. There is a higher spiritual or astral narrative that is occurring, and the events of our third dimensional life are dream symbols of that higher reality. It really is a magical universe. In the pulsar geometry, the third tone and third moon represents the first stage of the 3, 7, 11 second dimensional sense pulsar. In this moon we can direct our electrical thought forms in service of the highest dream on behalf of the all. Noah's letter number 15, lawoftime.org, from 13moonpeacetime.com, and today from the Zolkin Times, Kin 23, Blue Planetary Night. Planetary is the name for the number 10, and its keywords are perfect, produce, and manifest. The tenth day of a wave spell is great for manifesting things. It's the perfect opportunity. It is also a very tenacious number which helps us succeed in our missions. Today is Blue Night, which represents dreams and abundance. Today is Kin 23, a special number, and Blue Night is always dreamy with lovely energy, full of ideas and sometimes fantasies. If you have dreams, today is a great day for them to come true. It's the perfect day. Combine the meaning of number and day and the result is manifest dreams or produce abundance. The blue night symbolizes that all abundance comes from dreaming. It is our human imagination that sparks creation. And so today, dream away. It is your human nature. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papagiorgio. Blue Planetary Night, Kin 23, 23rd September 2021, Manifesting the Planetary Dream, 23-9-2021 equal 37, 37 into 73, Heaven on Earth, equal 595 equal 514 equal 55 equal 10 equal 1, Day Codes 23, Royal Star of the Lion, Strength, Protection, Grace, 5. Freedom, Change, Transformation, Liberation. 10. Manifestation, Power, Authority. 1. Leader, Original, New Beginnings. Month, Year Codes. 9. Endings, Destiny, Service, Humanity, Grace. 5. Freedom, Change, Transformation, Liberation. 14. Media, Publicity, Promotion, Recognition. 5.5. Five, five, liberation, Portal. Kin 23 equal 5, Freedom, Change, Revolution, September 23rd, and Kin 23 equal 23.23 equal 55 code, Make a Wish, calling all planetary kin, today is a phenomenal day for personal, collective, and planetary manifestation. We have an incredible alignment of codes and frequencies to tap into for the manifestation of prosperity, happiness, and success. We have a double magic code to manifest miracles on a 10-1 manifestation day. The tone of creation is planetary, tone 10, and the daily code totals 10, giving us double manifestation power. Add the wizard's magic and the monkey magic and we have quadruple the power to create our dreams. It is time to claim our freedom and divine rewards. Today's codes are providing great impetus to fuel our planetary dream 
for manifesting the new way dreaming, anchoring through the expression of liberation. In order to anchor this new harmonic matrix, we must first claim our sovereignty through liberation. This requires full disclosure of the truth of the lie that we have been believing that has kept humanity enslaved in the dark, hypnotic, dream spell nightmare. First we need to see before we can set ourselves free. Day 10 of the White Wizard Wave Spell is the day our magic manifests into our reality. Our wizard is finally done gathering all his magical tools and ingredients, and today he is ready to cast his new dream spell. Tone of Creation Planetary Tone 10 in the Physical Realm Action produces, power perfects, essence manifestation. The planetary tone operates in the physical reality, and so will have a very strong influence on our global reality today. The tenth stage of the White Wizard wave spell is the perfection of all we imagine is possible and more. It is the harvest stage where we happily reap our manifest splendor. The forms we have been imagining begin to manifest into our reality and our lives begin to reflect the great dreams that we desire. Planetary energies enable us to build and manifest strong, healthy relationships with ourselves and others today. We have the power to manifest and produce incredible prosperity, happiness, and joy, both in our hearts and the planetary heart of Gaia, as we are all one heart. Go forth, magicians, and perfect your manifestations with quadruple the power. As we are basking in the moonlight of the romantic Pisces full moon, aligning with our dreamy Libran energies, the energies are ripe for attracting love, romance, and divine partnership. Tonight is a perfect night for a magical carpet ride with your beloved in the dream state, tasting the pleasures of an enchanted and magical life together. Soak up the moonbeams and cast your desires out into the quantum field to manifest your deepest soul longings for higher love. All these power-packed magical codes are supercharging the bliss factor today, so start magnetizing those beautiful dreams. You are the rainbow bridge and you have the magical power to do this for yourself personally and also collectively as a valuable member of our planetary tribe of rainbow warriors. Now is the time to manifest our bliss on earth, a whole planetary kin to our success. What a magical story, what a cast of super characters, what a marvelous day. Zippity doo day. Today's question is how can I use my magical superpowers to produce the manifestation of my most beautiful dreams and our collective dream of planetary peace, prosperity and harmony, planetary service. As it is such a magical and powerful planetary manifestation day, I recommend you utilize these energies to manifest your dreams and also assist in permanently anchoring our 5D timelines for Nova Gaia. You may wish to light a candle, create an altar, and or crystal grid, dedicate a crystal, meditate, visualize or sit out in nature connecting with the sun. Whatever you intuit is divinely perfect. Always give gratitude for your manifestation and add with no harm to none. This or something better universe. 10 10, 11 11 a.m. or p.m. is a brilliant portal time to do this. Or you may choose a 7 combo, such as 7 7 or 7 47, 7 37 for magic or 5 5 5 for liberation and moving forward, or 8 0 8 for abundance and infinite flow. Today is the day to hold the dream for planetary abundance. What's good for Gaia is fantastic for us. Let's do this, star blossoms. Let's manifest heaven on earth. Divine blessings to manifest your perfected dreams in our beautiful new world filled with peace, love, joy, and abundance. Hooray! In la quetch a la kin, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66. Kin 23, Blue Planetary Night. The mantra, the code for today is, I perfect in order to dream, producing intuition, I seal the input of abundance. With the planetary tone of manifestation, I am guided by the power of magic. And on this powerful day of magic and transformations, and mystical manifestations. Let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling. 
your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. And I'd like to take the time to thank everyone for supporting us in our work and mission. If you'd like to support this channel and help us continue to bring these transmissions to the world daily, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to thank Divine Angel of the Light, Els Miench, for your donation today. Thank you very much. If you'd like to make a one-time donation or a monthly donation, you could do so to our PayPal account at eaglelovecondor.com. Just click on the PayPal link and you can donate whatever you can afford. We appreciate all of you and your support and your continued support. We wouldn't be able to be doing this work without you. And each pledge and donation is a vote for us to continue doing this work and bringing these transmissions to the world and our teachings to Patreon and to our channels on YouTube, Paul White Gold Eagle and Prime Disclosure. And I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork on Etsy. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmission with powerful codes from our Huna Bro Star of the Light, Lee Potare. Blue Ray, Cube of Stars, Harmonic Light, Streaming Stag, Universal Continuum, Mother Pearl, Aurora, Dragon's Eye, Star Forms, Evolution, Logos, Frequency, Ingesting Starlight, Returning to One, Cubic Properties, Continuity, Smoke and Mirrors, Twins Image, Black Cube, Counterpoint, Middle East, Reflection, Crucible, Alpha, Draco, Children of Darkness, Spiral Embedded Dynamics, Cube 8, Hing, Light, Cones, Power Mandate, Reckoning, Corrective Light Intelligence, Divine Force Expanding, Center, Tetra Flower Intuitive DNA, Pan at Gates of Dawn, Immortal Old Guard, Quintessence, Lyra Andromeda Sirius, Illumination Dark to Light, Solar Plexus, Metatron, Luxor Temple, Holy of Holies, Generative Power, Song Lines, Orion, Sirius, Pleiades, Lumeria, Light Seed, Golden Child, Celestial Hypersphere, Fractal Attractor, Gravity, Star Body, Breath Charge, Phi, Cubed, Essence, Blue Ray, Streaming Stag, Diamond Light Immunity, New Earth Star, Footnote, Golden Ratio, Plank, Cause Seed to Grow, Frequency Charge, Implosion, Shareable Thought Wave, Fusion, Blood Memory, Infinity Continuum. And with that, beloved beings of light, thank you for joining us today and continuing this great mission of assisting Gaia and all her children in this great ascension process. We now are connecting daily deeper and deeper and higher and higher with our serious star families of the light. Now you can connect more clearly with our galactic nations, our galactic families of light. Many of these are higher dimensional, many of these are intradimensional, and many are from other realms of other timelines, or in this timeline, but other places in the space-time continuum. So keep rising, rising, rising. The deeper you go within, the higher you flow without. We are now being activated in the deepest parts of our self, our presence, into the dormant DNA and into our etheric 12-strand DNA, merging with our physical, the physical with the non-physical, form into emptiness, emptiness into form. This is the great quantum leap of consciousness, 444 coming in. The angelics are with us now. You can feel them in your vessel. As we connect with the higher realms, the higher dimensions, 441 into the 144, 1010 also coming in now. Great Spirit, the Great Mystery is speaking to us in many omens, symbolism, synchronicities, signs, and codes that speak 
to our psyche, our inner conscious mind, our super consciousness, which is what we call cosmic consciousness. 444488 Portal, the Lyra Nation of the Royal Lions of New Lemuria, coming in, connecting with us now. Many of us are of this nation, of this legion, of this holy emerald order, the new line of new earth. All lines have been crossed, all veils have been lifted, the eyes of the spirit have been opened. It will just take a little more time for all to come into focus. Please be patient in these final days of focusing, coming into fruition, coming into harmony, into balance, into clarity, we say, the clear light of bliss. You may see the blue pearl in the middle from 12D Venus. The eagle and the condor bring the sacred pearl into this realm from 12D Venus to assist all of you in this great healing of consciousness that in turn heals the physical. Have a most beautiful and blessed awakening journey. Be sure to make this the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.